Welcome to Happy Place Aquatics. Dun, 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 dun. Going in my pond. Don't worry, the contents of the bag or water of the bag is not going in the pond, but the fish are. So, gonna let them float here for a little bit, for probably 20 minutes or so. Let them get acclimated to my water because temperature wise, not pH or anything like that. Uh, where they're at, the water is kind of cold. He doesn't heat his tanks, which is fine. Goldfish, typically, he actually doesn't heat none of his tanks because he heats his entire shop. So, there's that. And then, got some panda quarries. And they're going to go in my guppy tank. I don't have any bottom dwellers in here other than a clown pleco. And I think I have one snail. So they're going in here. Let them float for about 20 minutes or so. You know. Don't really have the, uh, the lights on right now because it is nighttime. But as you can see, there are a bunch of babies in here. So that's what we do. We do fish. Those are just your common everyday run in the middle. Probably common goldfish. Some of them have fan tails. But it's okay. I like goldfish. I have an outdoor pond as well. They'll go in the summer. They go from here to there and back to here. It's just how I'm going to do it. Also got some food. My buddy's back out and doing good. After his scare with the, the heater. And he was, uh... He was pretty sad for a couple of days. I mean, he didn't want to eat. He didn't want to do nothing. He was super stressed. He's got all his colors back and he's out. So, I like that. Here he comes. Come and say hi, huh, bud? I love Oscars. I really do. Of course, this one is just always hungry. It's always feed me, feed me, feed me, feed me. Tomorrow's tank maintenance day on her tank. And his tank again, even though I know he's... I may not do his tomorrow. I may let it go a day. Got my Siamese algae eater out. See, all my severums are doing good. These guys are huge. I got these guys. They were tiny. I mean, they were tiny. They're finally packing on some size. Good old Tiger Oscar there. Oh, he's just being a dick tonight. Just being a dick. Everybody's doing good in here. You know, why do they keep changing the name of the Geophagus Tapaho? Why don't you just leave the names of the fish alone? Once you get used to them and then they change them, and you're like, I gotta remember another name that I can't pronounce. It's just wild. Got my big three for Red Fenicara. Underrated fish, I'll tell you that. They're actually really nice fish. I absolutely love these guys though. I love electric blue acara. They're one of my favorite fish of all time. Got my dwarf dual cichlid. The fish is really colorful. My yellowtail ACI. This tank is doing great. I got a baby down here in the corner. Don't know if he's gonna make his presence known or not, but he's down here in the corner. I got my buddy there with no tail. Up, oh, photo bomb. I lost another one out of here, but that's only three fish out of this entire, entire batch of fish. I only lost three, that's awesome. I've not lost, I've lost only two of these guys. And I mean, their water was foul, but I only lost two of them. Since I put the filter on there, they're actually doing better. They're a hybrid fish. They're a, I don't even know what the hell they are. But all I know is they are they're pretty. And then the albino, I got two albinos, but one likes to hide down in there, as you can see. 
The fish room is a wreck. I need to spend some time down here. I took the babies out of the breeder box. As you can see, there's one jetting across the back. There's, they're all hanging out by the filter, over by the heater. If you look right there, you can see two of them. I mean, they're just hiding. It's gonna take some time. I'm feeding them some, some homemade food. Um, basically got some, some of this in it, but it also has some other stuff over here. I buy it in bulk. Can't really tell. I want to take the lid off of it because I'm doing it one hand. The next thing you know, it'll be a disaster. But I buy it in bulk and mix it together. But I'm actually happy with these guys right here. Look at this pond. I only had this thing up and running for like a week and it looks beautiful. The water's crystal clear. The fish are happy, happy and healthy. The only thing I have to do is come down here and clean some of the plant matter off the intake of the uh, filter every now and then. But it does great. Let's go over and look at Blueberry say hi to her today. We'll say hi to Blueberry. I said hi to her in a couple days. I had to plug her light in. I had it on an Alexa timer and the Alexa timer died. There's Blueberry. Still looking good, still eats good, swims around. She's happy, she's healthy. I think there's two Corys in here too, somewhere. I don't know where they are, but they're in there. They hide. I got a Pleco in here too, she's large. I've got Corys in here. There's a Pleco right there, you can see his tail hanging out the back. Right there. He's burrowed underneath of the Pleco cave. He doesn't want to be in it, he wants to be under it. You got a Cory right here. This fish is still beautiful. I'm getting close to 100 followers, a lot of subscribers, I should say. I'm liking that. Makes it makes it me like to do this a little more. I'm just, I look forward to getting on here, making videos, making content. There are a lot of people out there that really don't, uh, they don't understand us, our fish people, because we are a little nuts, especially when you get to, you know, 40 tanks or so. But, you know what? It's a hobby. I actually love that stand. I built that stand just for these 255s. It's doing great. I built it weird though. Most people build it with a 2x4 standing this way. I built it with them flat on the bottom to hold the tanks. And then it's got supports as you can see right there. And then up here there's supports tied in as well so the 2x4s don't flex. It's also screwed in from the side as well. So, it's a great stand. I was supposed to build my rack this weekend, but you know, I'm not feeling the greatest. I've had a rough week, so I'm gonna take a break. Still got a whole lot more work to do next week. But, I swear, she's gotta be, she's pushing three, three and a half years old. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking and subscribing. Once again, I really appreciate all of my uh, subscribers. It is a small channel, it's just me and my wife. We make content as much as we can, so I appreciate it. Alrighty, thank you for watching. Have a great evening.